fishing. 89 fly fishing. Oh, welcome to Knee Deep Fly Fishing. Hey gang, Micah here with Knee Deep Fly Fishing. Today I'm going to tie an easy white bugger that I like to fish for. Winter and fall trout here in the Maryland streams as well as for steelhead. It's a nice heavy fly. Gets down deep. It swims pretty well. Those lead clouser style eyes really get the job done. First things first, to arm my hook, get my eyes on there, get a little thread happening, a little crisscrossing. Bring my thread down to the back, and I'm going to brush a little UV stuff on there. This is the uh, Solar Res Bone Dry. See how cold it is down here in the dungeon today. A little clumpy. If yours gets chunky like this, take the cap off. Just put the bottle in the microwave for like eight seconds. Put the cap in, stir it around a little bit. Check it. It should clear right up. If it doesn't, give it another five seconds. You know, without the cap on there makes the difference and it'll get rid of any of the cloudiness my fly tying room is an old coal storage bin in my old house take what you can get you know there are many coal storage rooms like it but this one is mine it's what I got so anyway we're gonna put a little white marabou on I like my tail just about as long as the, the body of the fly. Let's see, I'm going to measure it up, trim my butts off. I'm not worried about uh, a smooth taper on this one. It's going to be one hairy fly when I'm all done here. So I got a little marabou, put a little crystal flash in the tail. Since this is uh, probably going to end up being thrown at some steelhead, I'm going to put a lot of crystal flash in. I take my crystal flash, kind of fold it over itself. This is two pieces. Get a lot of miles out of it. What I'm going to do is tie it on on one side here. And wrap it over. Tie it on the other side. Kind of wrap up that marabou. Lots and lots of flash. Smooth all this out real well. No tackiness there on those eyes. That's a good thing. Come a long way. At this point, I like to stop. I'll take a chunk of rubber legs. Cut off about three, four inches. This is about four real fine rubber legs together. And again, I'll put these kind of on the sides of the tail. That crystal flash. Give myself a couple of wraps, flip it over. Head to the other side. You can see I'm kind of holding it where I want it. Wrapping that thread around and pulling tight. Help really seat it in there. When I'm all done, I'll pull these tight and trim them, and it'll spread them loose. All right, here's the trick. I'm gonna make a little dubbing loop just by making a loop in my thread and then tying over it. Do my best to hook this onto something on my vise. My material clip is good to keep that loop open. And then I've got a product called the, the Kraken Enhanced from the guys at Fly Tires Dungeon. Put some of this in a loop. 
You don't, uh, you don't need a ton because when we spin this up, it's going to go pretty hairy and crazy. You can have too much of a good thing here. See how I'm nice and, nice and sparse if I hold that up. Sometimes it's easier to uh, use a shorter dubbing loop and maybe dub it twice. So what I'm going to do is here, stop. This is about four inches of stuff hanging off. And I got a little dubbing whirl in the bottom of my loop and I've just spun it. Maybe I can hold it up. You can see it's spinning in the background. And it's been spinning here for five or six seconds. If I let go of the thread, it'll twirl all that up to a nice shaggy mess. This is one of those things of what's old is new again. People are making whole little jigs to make uh, bodies for their, uh, what do you call those, game changers. Nothing new, man, nothing new. So I'm going to bring my thread up probably just behind my eyes. I don't know how far we'll make it with this dubbing loop but I'll wrap it typically I don't have a camera in the way while I'm tying I like to brush it back and wrap forward they don't have to be right on top of each other I might make it I might make it through this fly I'm gonna bring my thread forward I'm gonna go around those eyes crisscross them Ooh, slipped right out of my hackle pliers there. Tie that off. That's pretty much it. It's not easy to make this head look nice with all this rubbery junk. This cracking stuff has uh, rubber legs and flash and dubbing. It's kind of got everything you need. I used to put another set of legs up front on these. I don't think you need it. Get this loop off of here. Do a little whip finish. Tie this all down nice and tidy. Can hit it with some more of that bone dry just on the thread. A little dab will do me. If it gets down in the eye of the fly you can pick a little hackle up off the floor. Looks like we cleaned. Ran a little vacuum here so there's no hackles laying around. You can run it through the eye of the fly. Should have had one handy for you guys. Here we're going to use a little peacock curl. I trim this off before we run the cement or run the light on this. Clean that eye out. It's pretty dry. You can see that stuff really glows if you look at it. Look away. I'm just going to grab those rubber leg tails, pull them out, trim them off, pull them out, trim them off. This little guy is real quick once you get in the groove of it. It's a little sparse up front. It's not the worst I've ever tied. This thing is just going to live in the water, man. It's going to go all over the place, and it's going to go down deep. It's real sparse, not a lot of material. Crush those barbs in case you get one in the butt. Nobody likes to get hooked in the butt. Your friends, the fish, take that big barb off of there. That's it. I hope you guys get out fishing while it's cold this winter. Keep one hand in your pocket, and we'll see you out there.